Let's take a closer look at F1 fuels today. Fuel in F1 is still free to develop, and so every engine manufacturer is cooperating with their own fuel supplier, with mobile laboratories at the track to monitor and develop the best fuel for them. Until 2025, F1 fuel contains 10% sustainable ethanol. This biocomponent is harvested from wood, crops and sugar beet. Important is to provide high energy density while fuel is being injected with 500 bar into the combustion chamber with a diesel-like compression ratio of 1 to 18. Because these F1 fuels are tailored for their purpose, 1 liter of F1 fuel in 2025 costs around 25 euro. So if we assume that an F1 car burns around 300 liters of fuel during a race weekend, this piles up to annual fuel costs for a team with two cars and for 24 races of 360,000 euro. The new big challenge comes now with e-fuels in 2026. F1 wants to reduce emissions of the race cars, although they only account for 0.7% of the overall F1 emissions. Anyway, e-fuels it is. E-fuels means that there are no fossil components in the fuel. Fuel developers can decide if they go fully synthetic, so they create fuel only with chemical elements of hydrogen and CO2, or if they use sustainable bioproducts. But to reach the highest power density and good ignition behavior, the fuel companies need high-tech components, which are not widely available, which means they need to create them themselves, which needs lots of research and development work, which increases the price dramatically. And in the end, the customers, so the F1 teams, pay the price. The result is that e-fuels for the 2026 F1 championship will be 10 times more expensive than current fuels. So one fuel tank with 100 kg in 2026 would cost 28,000 euro to fill up. And one season with two cars in 2026 will cost the team 3.5 million euro in fuel costs. To make life a bit easier for fuel manufacturers, the requirements have been turned down a bit for 2026. The fuel pressure will be limited to just 350 bar instead of 500. The compression ratio is reduced to 16 instead of 18. And the boost is limited to 4.8 bar. So F1 fuel is becoming a huge cost factor and it will be an interesting development race between the suppliers. Mercedes is traditionally working with Petronas. Ferrari is cooperating with Shell since forever. Honda will change from ExxonMobil to Aramco in 2026 since they are Meston Martin's title sponsor. So this change of fuel supplier will be interesting to watch. Audi could secure BP for them. And Red Bull is keeping their partnership with ExxonMobil, which is interesting as their partner Ford has a strategic partnership with BP. So in F1, Ford will drive with ExxonMobil. So F1 fuel development is an often overlooked topic. Because of e-fuels, prices in F1 will be 10 times higher and it will be an interesting development race between fuel suppliers. If you like this video, please consider to become a B-Sport Club member for early access and more videos like this. See you at the next one.